Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to introduce you guys to The Blue Moon Narthex by NJ Donner. So this book comes on sale on the 7th of February this year and I really encourage you guys to check it out. I gave it a three and a half star rating on Goodreads. There are a lot of things in this book that I did enjoy, but there was a few things that were a little bit of a downfall for it. Either way, I will be continuing on with this series because I did enjoy this. Videos will be done in two parts. First of all, there will be an unboxing of this book. The publishers were kind enough to send me out a box full with merch and different things linked to the story as well and the second half will be my spoiler free review on this book. I was originally going to do an unboxing before I'd even read the book but I thought it would be better for me to kind of understand the contents in this box and be able to tell you guys a bit more about them so I'll jump straight into it. So obviously I got the book in the unboxing. I really do like the final cover of this book. It is simple and I really love the colour of the Narthex. And as for a quick overview of this book you have the KSL which stands for the Karmanic Sovereign Legion. And they are the people who keep good and bad in balance so they pretty much dish out karma when it is needed and then you have have young 13 year old Cole whose father is killed in a mysterious train accident and he gets thrown into this world. So he has the blue moon Narthex and a Narthex is a really powerful stone that KSL members can use and obviously it can't just be an easy journey for him. There are outside forces who are trying to get the same stone that he has and it's just going to be a real ride from beginning to end. So you also got the doctrine of the KSL. This has the official documentation for when the KSL was formed plus definitions of what they actually are and what they stand for. It's like super cool the effort that they went through to write this. I just really, really love it and it gives you that little bit more insight on the story. I also got a sticker of the Blue Moon Narthex and I also got a tattoo of the Blue Moon Narthex. You got a few bookmarks. This one has the quote on the front saying, the balance of good and evil has been left in the hands of a 13 year old. And then you also get like mini bookmark as well. You get a badge with the Blue Moon Narthex on it. You also get this little pouch and inside of it a KSL pin that signifies that you are part of the KSL. And lastly inside the box you get your own vial of Karmanic powder. So this rare precious material is what helps to create the narthexes and keep the balance of good and evil in the world. The blue one has good karmanic powder, you have a yellow one which is bad karmanic powder and brown which is neutral. I'm gonna go and spread some good karma. So that is the book and if you guys have any questions on this series I will leave all the links to the social media of the KSL series and publishers below. I will leave a link to the Goodreads of this book as well so you guys can add it to your Goodreads to read list. If there's any questions you guys have about this book please leave them below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Now when it comes to the actual review of this book I, as I said before, did enjoy it. I'm going to continue this series on, but there are a few things that I disliked. This book is most certainly a middle grade book. If I had to compare it to anything, I would say it's a bit like Percy Jackson slash Harry Potter slash Akane. It was really fun and magical to step into this world. I think that I was in need of a rather easy book to read where you kind of know things aren't going to go terribly like they do in a lot of other fantasy YA books. So it was really nice to just have a break from some serious reading and enjoy this book. So in this book you have three best friends, Cole who is the main protagonist and you've also got his friends Sophie and Britton. They're all 13 year old and they all get swept into this world and it's really fun because they have a really great dynamic and from the very beginning you can see their friendship and it solidifies throughout the entire book. There's always something happening in this book, it's quite action packed. You've got the main plot and then you've got a few that string off from it as well so there's always different things things you're watching and keeping an eye out for and enjoying and I liked that because it didn't make the book slow at all and it was rather enjoyable to have something to keep you occupied the entire time. There was not really any chapters that were just filler chapters, there was always something happening. From the moment that I started reading this book, all I could picture it was as a TV show. It's got a perfect style that would be good on television, the characters that people can relate to, a storyline that is always busy and it's one of those books where this world could be real. It's got the underlying magical world that happens on Earth. So it's like, is there really a KSL? Could I happen to slip into it one day? And it's just really, really magical in that kind of sense. For those of you who know me, I'm not a huge fan of tropes. This book contains two tropes that I didn't like, but in this book they didn't do it terribly so. It's just that like I don't personally like these tropes, so it's not like an attack on the book. It's more of just like me as a problem. So the first one is that you had the chosen one trope. Cole McCarthy is thrown into this world and he's just amazing at everything. And then you also have the trio trope. This trio trope kind of started in Harry Potter where you have the one smart girl and the two boys. And I've seen it a few times in many books and it kind of feels like not really a ripoff, but we've all seen it before and it'd be nice to have something different. I did feel like since this book was so action packed, which was a good thing, it also skipped over a lot of vital information. The world building in it although was good, there were things that I couldn't really envision and I wasn't even sure what time era this really was set in. A lot of things seemed kind of modern but at the same time as World War One, and like this typewriters being used but it was just, it was a little confusing but it could just have been me. <laughs> the only other problem I have with this book is that there were so many names 
character that you feel like you should remember. You're introduced to a lot of characters and just strangers passing by in this book are given names and every time they introduce it feels like they're going to be someone important so you try to remember them and when they do inevitably come back into the story it takes a long time to figure out which person that was supposed to be and it can be quite confusing sometimes. I can say though it is very easy to remember who the main characters are so I guess that's the only important thing really. So this book had a lot of potential although I did thoroughly enjoy it and will continue to read this series I do hope that the next book steps up as a whole and just becomes that much more greater. You guys can definitely say that I am a member of the KSL and I'm very happy to have read this book. Like I said I will leave all the links to this book below. I encourage you guys to check it out and it sounds like something you guys will enjoy it, then read it and rave about it with me and until then I think that is everything so you guys have a lovely bookish day and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!